Happy cat. Extremely happy dog. Happy goats. And happy chickens. Merry Motivational Monday Christmas something, all of the above. How are all of you doing? Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a great Christmas so far. If you're watching this video right now, um, which you are, why? Go spend it with your friends and family. Come back later. That's later. Welcome back. <laughs> oh yeah, this is how I'm spending Christmas. Uh, my mom's just house sitting for someone and had a great time last night. We played Monopoly for the first time in I think like 20 years or something. And uh, I won the first game, but then she kicked my ass in the other two. Very weird Monopoly, SpongeBob. We just did not understand uh, the meanings of the properties or <laughs> anything for that matter. <laughs> so for this week's Motivational Monday, I just wanted to cover gratitude because this is the season to be grateful for things. Passion fruit. Yeah, you see, growing up, uh, you know, my mom and I, we were always broke. We never really had uh, the money to uh, be able to get me what I really wanted for Christmas and you know that was always tough for her but uh, Yeah, I mean that was what reality was it's just that we just couldn't afford a whole lot So my view on Christmas is kind of weird. I have a really hard time buying gifts for people and figuring out what kind of gifts to get people because I grew up not having a whole lot but you see, the cool thing is, is that taking a look at it from adult eyes now, is that I can see that it's not about what I get, it's about what I can give, and it's about who I spend my time with. And that's the thing about gratitude. Because think of it this way, would Christmas be just as great if you got the present, but there was no one there to spend it with? Or would it be even better if you were able to spend the time with someone that you love? Ne not necessarily get what you wanted gift-wise, but you had a really great time spending that time, the quality time with someone over the season. And that is exactly how it was for me last night with my mom. Look at her go. She is 72 fucking years old and is still just as chipper as she was when she was like in her 20s, I guess. Not true, but we'll hold that for today. <laughs> yeah, we'll just say that that's true. <laughs> So yeah, that's what I wanted to cover about gratitude is, you know, Christmas time, it's about who you choose to spend your time with and what you choose to do when you spend that time with that person. See, quality time right here. So that is why I don't need anything for Christmas because I have, I have the person that I want to spend that time with right here. Oh, <laughs> now I know that not everyone is going to have a chance to spend this holiday season with the people that they want to be able to spend it with, but uh, we did. We did. We lucked out. We <laughs> yeah, made, we, uh, we lucked out. If you're not able to, hope you were able to spend it with, uh, you know, your best friends and uh, we are just having a absolute hoot of a time like we did. We're gonna be playing a lot more board games. Uh, mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. Once, uh, once Never we mind get... SpongeBob. Yeah, we're both not a the fan salty of SpongeBob. Spittoon... No. No. No, 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 no. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll get classic Monopoly and then, and then uh, yeah, we'll Classic have... Scrabble and then we're gonna Scrabble. get a puzzle. Puzzle, because yeah. all we ever do is I go visit, he's on his laptop, I'm on my laptop. <laughs> wow. We are so guilty of doing I that. Know. Is anyone else guilty of doing that too? Going over and spending time <laughs> with your friends and family and just being on social media? Guilty! Uh. Yeah, so, so that ends this video. Go have a great time. Christmas dinner! 
very untraditional, but uh, since there's no turkey involved uh, this year, it's whole wheat pasta with tomato sauce and peppers and onions and garlic and a delicious salad. Veganing hard this Christmas. <laughs>